same as each other, you know, which is, you know. Um, so, and our protocols are made to help the most people in the most way um, without having to think of it if you're in a stressful situation. They throw a bell curve in the article saying this is the majority of patients your protocols will help. But there's a lot of people, like the person who had, wants to stop their car completely dramatically, didn't miss his spine, or the person who was unconscious um, and bradycardic, but the bradycardia was a good thing in them, um, who are outside the protocols, and the protocols are going to, could either, you know, be a nuisance in the case of the first person who's just going to have a little stiff neck afterwards, or it could kill the person who was having intracranial pressure. And so it was just, uh, the article was saying that sometimes you need to think outside the box, make sure that your protocols are actually treating the situation in your front of
Um, luckily, there was no vocal cord damage because most paramedics don't intubate with a Y and we can actually rip people's vocal cords and actually change their voice. And some people wouldn't be too like kind to that, especially men, especially if their voice you know elevate or they lose ability to vocalize. Period. Um, and there's some really serious repercussions too, right? Because couldn't she have been innovated and um, that there's problems like they broke the tooth or they intubated into the esophagus or they RSI her with too much sedation. Um, do you know what I mean? So that first case, even though the patient turned out okay, that wasn't still wasn't okay. You know what? That patient probably never knew. I'm sure what had happened was that at the hospital, what they did was they sedated the patient, excavated them, and then brought them on. I mean, think about it. If who in here has had surgery? Raise your hand. Do you remember being extubated? I mean, I've had multiple surgeries. I was at one time remember being extubated because usually you can control that, you know, for if the person doesn't know they're being extubated. So they probably hid that fact. They never <laughs> I'm sure they did, uh, if possible. Now, the second case, I've seen that happen in the field, and it's pure tunnel vision, and it's usually new medics because they're like, oh, look, look at that low heart rate. I want to do a, you know, a pacing. So that's classic. 